closely following the issue of collection is processing that is turning the waste to wealth. Major solid wastes are processed at Material Recovery Facility in Igodo area of Lagos. Joint resources have been put together to operate this recycling plant. Trucks with waste from the area have directives to dislodge hair. We take waste from all the local area around here, which is roughly from Badagri, Apapa, all the way up to the border with um, Ogun State. And at the moment, we're taking about 100, 125 tons, uh, metric tons a day. Um, we can probably go up to about 200 metric tons a day. Um, but that's the household waste. So it's all the PSPs come to us directly. So rather than going to landfill, they come here and they dump here. And we take out what they call the valuable fraction, which is all the recyclable material, such as PET, pure water nylon sachets, metals, and so on and so on. And we actually sell that back into industry uh, for further processing as their feedstock. This recovery facility has, however, delved into a little of the processing. And so although on a small scale, the plastics are shredded into various sizes to make work easier for recycling. With a new system of waste management and continuous renovation in the area, experts and the Lagos State Government said there's even more in the offing. The other thing why the PSP didn't work was issue of capital investment. It's a problem we have in Africa and Nigeria. Investment in waste management is still poor because people's eyes have not yet to be opened. That there are a lot of resources to be unlocked from waste, all in there, so many. Look at your, your mobile phone, which we throw around, where there's no more working. There are over a thousand chemicals there. The circuit board of your mobile phone, you can check me out, contains gold, silver. One million mobile phone will give you 17 kilograms of gold. It's a lot of money. One million will give you about 57 kilograms of silver. And one million mobile phone will give you nine tons of copper. This will give you even more money than oil. But what do we do? We lack the technology. You go to a computer village, you go to a labor market, our people try to repair. What they can't repair in the evening, they set them on fire. And that is creating its own problems. Because your mobile phone is a sweet and sour story. It contains gold, silver, and all those precious metals, which can earn money. The other thing is, the plastic is impregnated with dangerous chemicals. We call them brominated flame retardant. They are carcinogenic. So when you burn them, you are also releasing uh, carcinogen to the atmosphere. The same thing with even domestic waste. When we burn them or just dump them, most of our waste is biodegradable, more than 60%. When you just dump them at Olochoso and so on, the, with the dry season and all that, microorganisms will break them up. What happens? Methane gas will be produced, greenhouse gases. And suddenly you see the waste, uh, Olochoso catching fire. People will say, ah, some people set of fire. Nobody did. It's a natural process. So that greenhouse gas is what can be converted to energy. And I know Loma tried to do that before. And why also it's good that we are having integrated solid waste management. The, we can make compost from the food waste. Fertilizer is there. There are so many industries. And I believe, I have said it to my students in UI, that... I want to make millionaires out of them. There's a lot of wealth in waste, but we have not trained it properly. People are just using crude methodologies. So part of the thing Visions came, we want to look at is, how do you empower the youth? Then a lot of graduates. We have clever Nigerians. Our youth are very bright. If we show them a few of these things, they can transform them into something else. Even, you know, Nigerians are fashion conscious. In some countries, 
In Kenya, in South Africa, people are making fashion out of waste. The plastic of your mobile phone can be used to make earrings, to make uh, bangles, and so on and so forth. Even the, 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 the plastic that is all over the place and causing, uh, uh, I mean, flooding, clogging the drains and so on, can be turned into so many things. So we have a challenge. To me, the waste problem now is an opportunity. How do we make sure that the waste disappears? And the other exciting thing I have, rather than have dump sites like Olusho's room, Lagos State Government now is having the first engineer landfill in Nigeria, which is the proper one with the literate collection and treatment in a pair area. So modern technology would take over from conventional crude technology when waste was not that big, when there was so much space. Where is the space in Lagos? So you have to really face out the dump size, you know. The Association of Waste Managers say they have already embraced this modern technology, but so far they've been hindered by inadequate government support in various forms. If we are given an enabling environment, we want to be involved not only in the cutting of refuse, we want to be involved in the recycling. We have small-scale, medium-scale enterprises already in place that has gotten loans from the government that are already existent. We have some of the recyclers that are making the end product into, for example, nylon bags. You know what these people did when they came? They imported nylon bags, detrimental to the productivity of our own local economy. We already have recyclers here that are producing nylon bags. Why do you not patronize them? And the quality of the nylon bags that are produced in this country far supersedes the one that was imported. So we already have in place all this value chain. What we need to do is give incentives, give produce an enabling environment. The government can, can play a role of adjudicator. Stay and adjudicate. Watch the terrain. If there's an airing member, of our association or an any member of the small scale medium enterprises, then the government can bring out the whip and whip that person into order. We can build an engineer landfill site. It is not rocket science. We know exactly what it entails to build an engineer landfill site. We have people who are well versed in the art of building an engineer landfill site give us an enabling environment, help us financially. We are not asking you to give us the whole money to do it. We will produce also as well some financial commitment. We want the help of our government. And that's our story. Please send your comments or questions to our social media platforms. And don't forget that you can watch Big Story at any time on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I'm Imi John Mekwa.